recently I met up with Ashling O'Loughlin to find out her thoughts on fashion and where she gets her style inspiration. I think it's really important and it's a great privilege to be able to choose what you want to wear every day. I see it as a part of our democracy. I think it's something to celebrate. Whether you get it right or whether you get it wrong, really, who cares? But I, I love dressing myself, choosing what I'm going to wear for myself. I suppose I get my fashion inspiration off everybody, really. I mean, I always loved granny chic. I always loved watching grannies go up and down the street with their blouses, hence my lovely blouse today, and I love the pearls. And I love short hair from way back in the 50s. And then I always adored Helena Christensen's kind of bohemian style chic. Just very, like she had the short hair, but it was kind of the devil may care style, hardly any makeup. Of course she could get away with it, but I did try to emulate her. I tried anyway. And then of course there's the queen of them all, Kate Moss. She's, she is the queen of cool, I love her. And I know it's a bit of a cliche because she's everybody's inspiration, but of course she is, because she gets away with so much. And which designers have caught Ashling's eye? There's a lot of talent in Ireland at the moment. Um, just interviewed, she's from Galway, yeah, Galway girl Joanne Hines recently. And um, she's so talented, you know, she does her own thing. And you know, it's all about minimalism at the moment, but she loves embellishing her work. And I like that, you know, she's not following the trends. This is her view and her outlook on what she wants. And her clothes are absolutely beautiful. And I love that they're embellished because then you don't have to worry about jewellery. You can just put it on and you look a million euro. Tim Ryan is also another designer that I really like. He's, he moved to London there around five years ago and he's a big knitwear guy. And his clothes were picked up by Browns, uh, which is a really big deal for him. So um, I think he's going to be really big too. And then of course there's Peter O'Brien and Paul Costello, or Paul Costello as they call him in London. Um, these guys are just brilliant. So what's Ashling's one key purchase this season? We were doing a fashion shoot there recently and I fell in love Oh God, this is so, so problematic when you're out doing these things with a pair of Swarovski studded booties, no less. So I have to have them. I've been dreaming about them. Surely even a style icon has made a few mistakes along the way. I have had like practically one fashion disaster after the next. But that's fashion for you as far as I'm concerned. It's all about expressing yourself and making mistakes. Because, I mean, if we're going to wear beige all the time, how are we ever going to move on or experiment or try different things? So what advice would Ashton give? But you know what, I really think the best bit of advice you can give anybody is do your own thing. Don't be afraid. You're always going to have people out there who go, Oh, you're wearing that? Oh. Forget about them. Wear what you like. You know, wear what, it, what suits you, what reflects you, your personality. Because that's what it's all about. And can you guess one of Ashton's most memorable red carpet moments? I'll give you a clue. It involves Mr. George Clooney himself. There he is yapping on and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm listening to what he's saying. It was a really peculiar experience, you know? And then I thought, just focus up, O'Loughlin, focus up here, you know? You gotta think your next question. So yeah, but then, then I asked him for a kiss. Now I'd never ask anybody. I mean, it was totally unprofessional of me, really. But um, he was going away and I thought, oh, what? I want a kiss. So um, I said, George, I said, you wouldn't give me an old, Fondy. So the poor Dibley was like, oh, all right. So tune in next time to find out more style secrets from Ireland's most fashionable women.